Hey guys, um, I just want to explain really quickly, um, in under five minutes if I can, um, why there was probably not an axis shift today, and I, I'm not sure why, um, why this hadn't been more clear to us before, but, um, let's just say that this right here was February 27th, 2010, the first axis shift, and this was March 11th 2011 the second axis shift that's all we really have to go on is that one interval of time um, which we know was 377 days but now if this is caused by planet X you know like this would be earth traveling through the gravity trough right here but if this is planet X that's causing these axis shifts then um then it would be accelerating. So that means that from point A, February 2010, to point B, Feb or March 2011, Planet X was traveling at a certain speed, which was equivalent to 377 Earth days. And we know Earth is traveling at a steady, steady pace. Earth doesn't have a long elliptical orbit. Not like Planet X, or, you know, hypothetically anyway. Planet X has a long elliptical orbit that's really elongated. So it speeds up. The closer it gets to the sun, the faster it gets. So its velocity is um, increasing. It's accelerating. Whereas Earth, we're traveling at a consistent um, speed around the sun. It's just consistent. We don't speed up and then slow down. But with a planet that had a long elliptical orbit, it would it would be slow out here, but then it would get faster and faster until it whipped around the sun. So if it's accelerating, it makes sense that from point A to point B <coughs> would be slower than point B to point C. Would, so that means if it's speeding up, then... Um, there would be a longer interval between point B and point C, you know what I'm saying? From our perspective on Earth, there would be a longer interval between this second axis shift because the planet is moving further than it did the first time. So from here to here, it took 377 Earth days to get from here to here. But from here to here, which would be March 2011th to, or March 2011 until whenever, from here to here, <clears throat> is going to be longer. So it would be longer than 377 days since it's traveling faster. You know what I mean? Since Earth is going around the sun consistently, 365 days it takes to make one revolution. But this is speeding up. So it's, it's moving further along. So it's ahead of us because we're both moving in this direction counterclockwise around the sun. If you're looking down from the north, north of the ecliptic, if you look down at the sun, all the planets um, revolve around the sun counterclockwise. And this object also would be revolving counterclockwise. We know that because the axis shifts happen later and later each year. February, February 2010, and then March 2011, and then I don't know what the next date is. But if it was traveling at, its, at a consistent velocity, then it would have happened today. But it's not traveling at a consistent velocity. It's accelerating. So it, it went from February to March, from February 2010 to March, and I know I'm repeating myself, but I just want to do this. <clears throat> from February 2010 to March 2011, it was traveling at a speed that was equivalent to 377 Earth days. But from March 2011 to this next date, it's traveling faster. So it's going to be equivalent to, like, you know, more Earth days. 380 Earth days, 390 Earth days, 
400 Earth Days. I don't really know. Um, but at, at this point today, we are at 377, which is, equi which is equal to what it was last year. But I, I don't know why this hadn't hit us before. I mean, I had spoken about it a month ago. And um, if you want, you can go back and probably should check this video out because I'm going to end this right about now. This is my featured video right now. Um, check it out if you want to. It explains it in more depth. But um, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I just wanted to um, point that out. And, uh, you know, hopefully it could do a longer video later. Um, but, you know, the fact that there was no axis shift today does not at all prove that Planet X is not causing the axis shift. In fact, it corroborates the idea that it's Planet X because because now I realize, no, this thing is accelerating. It's going to be a longer interval this next time than it was last time. So, um, anyway, you guys, peace out. And, I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm glad nothing happened today. I just wish that, you know, I wish that more people could become aware and, and move to safety because those danger zones are just bad. You know, weather is getting bad. Whether you, whether you want to believe in Planet X or not, you, anybody that, you know, has half a brain knows that, you know, weather is getting worse and worse and worse. So if you can move out of those danger zones, it's probably, you know, probably best thing for your family. All right, peace out, guys.